Are you looking for a double exposure effect for your social media post? Like this one? In this video, I'll teach you how to create a simple and super easy double exposure effect using Canva. And the best part, it's completely free. Let's get started. First, just search for Canva, or if you already have it, simply open it. Then choose your preferred size. For this tutorial, I chose the YouTube thumbnail size. Next, I picked a beautiful picture for the background and another one for the main subject. Want to know where I got these free, high quality pictures? Let's visit this site. Search for Pexels, then click it. On the left side of the search bar, you'll see options for photos and videos. Search for Adventurer and press Enter you'll find plenty of stunning, high-quality pictures. Now, I chose another picture for my background. There are lots to choose from, so pick the one you like. Let's go back to Canva. Upload the picture you selected. Here, you'll see that we need to remove the background of our main subject. But here's the problem. We don't have a Canva subscription. Don't worry, I'll show you how to remove the background for free. But before we continue, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. To remove the background for free, go to this site, Cutout Pro, search for it, then click the link. Under their products, select Image Background Remover, then upload your image. Click Free Download and make sure to save it as a PNG file. Next, go to Photo Enhancer, upload the same image again, and download it, still as a PNG file. Return to Canva and upload the image. Now you have a background-free subject image. Next, let's add the background. Go to Position, then click Layers. Drag the background layer underneath so that your main subject is in front. Resize the images as needed. Once you're satisfied, on the left side of the screen, scroll down until you see Apps, then click it. Search for Image Blender. Make sure to select the image you want to apply the Image Blender effect to. Then click Blend Selected Image. You'll see two types of blends, Linear and Radial Blend. For this tutorial, I chose Linear Blend. Adjust the strength to zero. Move it around until you achieve the desired blend effect. After that, go to the text section. Add a text box and type the words you want to include. This could be your name, a place, an event, or anything else you like. For my example, I typed double exposure for this tutorial. I chose the Anton font because it's bold and fits the design. I selected white for my text color, then went to the effects section. Choose lift to make the text stand out and adjust the intensity as needed. I also reduced the transparency of the text. Next, duplicate the text for the word exposure. Resize it and slightly lower its transparency to make it more visible. And there you go. You've created a simple and super easy double exposure effect for free. If you liked this video tutorial, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.